resume our working day and the topic of our current press conference is uh, Interputin International Coalition awards Mustafa Jamilev for fighting against fascism in Russia. We have Mustafa Jamilev, an MP, uh, special envoy of the president of Ukraine for the affairs of on Crimea and Tatar's uh, affairs. And, uh, uh, Herman Abuhov, coordinator of the Interputin International Coalition Stop Fascism in Russia. Uh, f from the very beginning, I would like to mention that uh, I am coordinator. We are three coordinators. One uh, is here in Kiev, one is in Russia, and uh, Tanya Tsvetkova is working in the Netherlands. Today, we would like to award uh, Mr. Mustafa Jamilev, a hero of the Ukraine, of the um, Crimean Tatar people who fight for the rights of Crimean Tatars uh, here in Crimea, in Ukraine. Um, with uh, our award. Last year, we awarded Andrei Luchanov, a cyborg who protected, uh, uh, who defended the Netsky Airport. The second uh, award of uh, the Putin coalition uh, went uh, to Nadezhda Pavlova, uh, Nadezhda Savchenko, uh, uh, quite, Nadia Savchenko, quite understandable. Why. And uh, this year, we award uh, this prize to Mr. Jamilev. Uh, I would like to show you this award. Uh, this is very mm, beautiful. And uh, I would like also to handle this uh, special certificate uh, saying that uh, Mr. Jamila was really awarded uh, uh, this medal. And with this, I would like to give the floor to uh, Mr. Jamila, who will share his uh, plans, uh, uh, what he plans uh, to do in terms of liberating Crimea from the Russian occupants. Dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, after a final victory over uh, German Nazis and the final victory in the Second World War, which uh, um, uh, resulted in uh, more than 40 million of li millions of lives and around 20 million of those who were um, injured and disabled. There was uh, the uh, vision, the um, expectation that uh, uh, the final peace uh, would come to the earth. So, although there were not so many grounds uh, to uh, um, have such expectations become uh, one of the members of that coalition that was the country named USSR, where, um, uh, where everything was based on the totalitarian ideology, which uh, not so much differed from either Nazis or Italian uh, fascism. Uh, in course of the Second World War, um, such huge uh, uh, crimes were committed in Ukraine, in Kazakhstan, uh, Galadamor or great uh, um, famine uh, took nine million lives. There were ethnical uh, clearings, so to say, which destroyed uh, uh, the total uh, ethnic minorities. Uh, and uh, there were thousands of people which were um, put into the concentration camps here in the USSR. And uh, that's why after the Second World War, the world witnessed uh, uh, two dozen, uh, 
after dozens of years of the Cold War and uh, uh, creation of the regimes, uh, which could be called the uh, pioneers uh, of uh, socialism. Uh, later, upon the collapse of the um, Soviet regime, uh, uh, um, uh, 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 later, the West imposed uh, 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 severe economic sanctions on the Soviet Union, which resulted in the collapse of the Soviet Union. Many nations gained their independence, but not so many countries made uh, good use of that independence. In uh, uh, some uh, uh, countries uh, um, uh, of the uh, f uh, former uh, of the independent among the independent states, uh, they remained uh, the gravitation to the Soviet Union. While some other countries, like Baltic states, uh, they reached uh, the degree of development when they managed to join Europe. The uh, uh, Russian Federation, which uh, um, might considerably shrink in its size, uh, may be. Uh, uh, there were hopes that it might become the um, democratic state, but it did not happen, unfortunately. The uh, uh, wars reached against Chechen people who wished to gain independence. The um, strong chauvinistic uh, regime uh, um, uh, a persecution of the free uh, uh, thoughts, uh, mm, uh, b bloody of uh, conquest of the part of Georgia, and uh, uh, then the um, attack on Ukraine proved that not so much had changed in that uh, country. Uh, a famous uh, uh, research, well-known research uh, uh, of the Russian nation nationalism, uh, uh, Mr. Likar, um, uh, rooted Russian, um, uh, attributed the rise of Russian uh, nationalism to the Black Hundred from 1905, while the roots uh, could be seen even. Uh, um, in the deeper past, in the more remote past, uh, but uh, uh, in the last years of uh, perestroika, when the freedom of uh, speech was announced and freedom of associations was proclaimed, uh, such a chauvinistic organization as uh, Pamet Memory uh, was established, which later uh, changed its name to the Black Hundred uh, with its traditions. Thus, the, with the decline of the communist ideology, the uh, ideology of national superiority of the national chauvinism uh, had been, been developed and uh, uh, democratic forces of Russia appeared uh, to be sufficiently um, weak, uh, too, too weak to um, counteract this process. Um, during the last uh, 25 years, the Russian Federation committed uh, uh, criminal offenses against uh, uh, Chechen, Georgian, uh, Ukrainian, and even Syrian uh, peoples, and uh, uh, those offenses resulted in huge number of casualties and a huge number injured and disabled people, millions of uh, um, refugees. Uh, and which country will be next among those uh, countries who are victims of this aggressor? And I believe believe that uh, the um, duty of each uh, um, citizen, uh, of each uh, 
conscientious person is uh, to uh, contribute uh, his uh, her effort to fighting against uh, uh, this uh, evil. I uh, welcome this movement. Stop. Uh, 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 to fascism in Russia. I believe that uh, this uh, organization should uh, be developed, strengthened. Uh, um, I like uh, very much this uh, very nice award. I am not sure whether I deserve it, but uh, I am very happy and I would like to thank you for this award. Um, I would like to quote this is a certificate from the International Coalition uh, Stop to Fascism in Russia. Awards uh, this prize to Mr. Um, uh, Jim Levin MP, the leader of Ukrainian, uh, of Crimean uh, Tatars in Ukraine, uh, for his contribution to the fight of Crimean Tatars for their uh, rights. Uh, thank you. I also would like to to sum up of our today's uh, uh, to sum up our today's briefing and uh, to mention once again what does fascist m means and why it is uh, 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 so much manifested in Russia um, one of the reasons, uh, uh, one one of the um, features of fascism are as follows: the um, great powers, uh, chauvinism, then the merger of uh, all the branches of power of the uh, executive, legislative, and uh, um, judiciary with mass media. The third. Uh, um, Features as follows aggression against uh, uh, surrounding neighbors. The fourth feature, uh, uh, these are political murders. And the fifth uh, uh, feature um, is the uh, um, uh, huge respect to the uh, uh, politic, uh, one political leader, uh, and uh, uh, you can easily see all those peculiar features present in Russia, and uh, these features are absolutely absent in Ukraine. We uh, will prove that uh, today in Russia, they have all the uh, features of fascism in place, and this is going to be the fourth Reich, so to say. Dear journalists, uh, do you have any questions to Mr. Jamilev or Mr. Mm, Abuhav? Mm, yeah, we have a question. Do you have a question to German to Mustafa? Please go to the mic. Sergei Kutnyakov, Fund of Memory of the uh, Heavenly Hundred. Uh, we congratulate you with this award, and I would like to ask uh, now. Uh, uh, dis uh, discussed are the issues to return uh, Crimea to Ukraine uh, through economic sanctions and international pressure on Russian Federation. And uh, what is your opinion? Is it a fast way, an effective way? Thank you. Now we consider non-military means of the occupation of Crimea. Military way will result in huge losses and it will lead to suffering of Crimean Tatar people. And uh, we believe that economic sanctions are the most effective ones. And the feeling of superiority that is cultivated in Russia, superiority of Russia above all other countries, this is ridiculous and based on nothing. The main Russian product is 
lower than the products uh, of, uh, of one state of the United States, and even less than um, the product of uh, Italy and uh, the territory of Ukraine is 58 times less than the territory of Russia. The whole economy of Russia is based on natural resources that they sell. And if there's no such high, uh, uh, high price for oil, so the uh, Russia will be in a difficult situation. So they try to show their force, but they don't have real force. But maybe uh, they just believe in a long-term uh, uh, long relationship with the um, Western countries. And of course, uh, um, Afghanistan led to the uh, col uh, col uh, collision, uh, led to collapse of the Soviet Union. And uh, if sanctions continue at this level, we will see further collapse of the Russian Federation. And of course, we can't expect that only sanctions will work. We should uh, do, we should uh, um, improve our defen defense capabilities and uh, uh, our readiness. In if we had uh, defense capabilities like uh, today at that time, so uh, maybe we won't, uh, wouldn't have the war. And in all structures of power and in the army, uh, all the structures were so infiltrated by Russian uh, servi special services that R Rush it was very easy to, for the Russians to uh, reach even Kiev. But uh, people fought and stopped the enemy. And no one can say uh, about the time of this agony of Russian Federation, but maybe it will a year or a year and a half, and uh, then the territories uh, will be deoccupied, not only the territories of Russia, but also of Georgia and other states. Thank you very much. And the next question, Ukraine Forum Agency. What is your opinion on the uh, uh, the uh, choice of Eurovision contest, uh, the son of uh, Jamala, uh, uh, the son about the deportation of Tatar people, and uh, what is your opinion uh, on the fact that uh, the um, uh, Crimeans they can't um, sell, uh, they can't get uh, they can't vote for this so son uh, in this context in this contest. Uh, this girl is very talented, and I uh, promoted voting for her. Her voice is beautiful and unique, and uh, also uh, the uh, uh, she uh, got the uh, first place, and. Uh, According to the statute and the rules of the contest, Eurovision context, uh, contest, culture is uh, far from polis, uh, politics, but um, humane sense of this um, uh, uh, song, uh, this is uh, 1944, this is the year of deportation of Tatar people. Uh, she doesn't blame blame anyone. She speaks about uh, uh, human suffering and uh, violence, and uh, uh, it is uh, in the song uh, there are uh, words that uh, I couldn't live in this land, I couldn't be in my fatherland, and uh, for, for us, uh, we hope that Jamala will take the proper place in this contest, and I hope for the first place. And uh, the prestige and uh, the topic of Crimea, the topic of uh, uh, occupation of Crimea will reach the uh, uh, the highs. And uh, of course, uh, as Ruslana told uh, that uh, you did for the occupation more than everyone else, and this is true. If she uh, got this uh, place, it will be a great honor for our country. 
Nga në vizu, këtë të tërka. Tell us, please, and when will you be able to return back home to Crimea? And it's a very difficult question, and everyone asks about it. They tell, uh, uh, tell me, uh, tell us about the date, because we should tell something there in Crimea. Maybe it will be in a year or two, and uh, how will I look? So maybe only God knows. But I hope that it will be soon. Katerina Buk, Boyka. And I would like to ask uh, Mr. Abukhov, tell us, please, what is the contribution to Ukrainian democracy made by Mustafa Jemilev? This is a great contribution. And uh, he is the most active uh, deputy of the council. And uh, he works really hard. And he is involved in all activities connected with legislation. And he wants to. Uh, I, I don't know uh, even such a person like him. He uh, travels to Europe. He conducts meetings despite his age. He is uh, uh, like a young person, and I'm uh, v uh, 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 and I see that he has great energy in him. And I believe, uh, and I wish uh, him uh, health uh, and uh, to reach his goals. For 15 years, I uh, wasn't so active. That's why I am 15 years younger than I uh, stated in my documents. Uh, question to Mr. Abukhov. And what is your opinion on the change of the attitude towards Ukraine from the Russian Federation uh, with new government of the country and uh, the attitude to Ukrainians from the side of Russia. Uh, positive changes, are they possible in a short-term perspective? We mean psychologically and politically, you mean in Russia, right? And uh, uh, these bandits that are um, uh, uh, that are um, there, and they rule the country. There were no, uh, there was no such a situation in Soviet times. They even are. Uh, they are worse than Goebbels and Hitler and uh, everyone like them. And uh, uh, propaganda, Russian propaganda, they. Um, uh, they created a situation uh, that uh, uh, people lost their friends, uh, they lost their relatives, and it's like uh, you remember that uh, uh, after revolution people fought each other, and uh, uh, so uh, th there are brothers here and there. And we should fight, and we should uh, do everything and uh, uh, to create our project and to promote it in the internet and uh, on TV. And my uh, friends ask me uh, some questions, that, and they, uh, they are absolutely different. So propaganda of Kremlin, it works, and uh, uh, people start to quarrel because of this. And this is not because of Maidan. Putin wanted to prove uh, to everyone in his country that uh, this is not a proper way how to change a president. And there will be war, and everything will be really bad. And uh, we think that he uh, will be in the Hague and uh, jail awaits him. And in Strasbourg, we have the meeting with, uh, uh, with Kasyanov, uh, and we spoke about the uh, situation in Crimea. And uh, uh, also, he said that 80% support Putin. Uh, this is rubbish. But people. Uh, they f they afraid, and they can't say something else. And as to Crimea, normal people uh, with common sense, they say Crimea is ours, and it's not 
healthy that uh, uh, other countries invaded, but and normal people believe that this is correct. And uh, uh, they discussed in the press, especially in Russian press, they told that Kasyanov uh, uh, is a traitor, but one journalist called from Russia and say, uh, said um, Kasyanov and his party only about 11 percent support them. But I say it's great, uh, 10 or 12 percent uh, in Russia, uh, maybe they are normal people. And we thought that uh, um, uh, there are less, so the number is really good. Uh, totalitarian thinking. You know, uh, during Soviet times and uh, in perestroika period, uh, before uh, perestroika, if they conducted survey whether they like Soviet power, maybe 95% would say yes, because uh, they couldn't say anything else. But after, after uh, communist power collapsed, the uh, picture was really different. So. Uh, if there's no terror, uh, no um, this regime, so the opinion of people, they will express their real opinion. We will end press conference till the next time. Goodbye. Colleagues, I remind that our next press briefing is uh, in